that men, you are a hypocrite. You go around masquerading to be the leader of a political party that advocates for the poor. You go around advocate. You go around masquerading and pretending like you care about what the poor people on the ground are going through, whereas you don't even know how much does a loaf of bread cost. Man, so the supporters of the EFF are not happy at all with Musi Maiman, the leader of Build One South Africa, because Musi Maiman basically called out Julius Malema for a debate. According to the supporters of the EFF, Musi Maiman is way beneath Julius Malem. He's not even worth the time of Julius Malem. <laughs> and Musi Maiman did not only call out Julius Malema for a debate, Musi Maiman also called out President Ramaphosa, he called out John Steinhazen, he called out Songe Sozibi and other various leaders on, on our political arena and he said that guys, how about we start being fair to South Africans, how about we start debating these policies so that when South Africans go on polls they can make a world informed decisions. But no, this is not what the EFF wants and they've made it clear that they don't want Julius Malema to debate with Musi Maimani because in their eyes Julius Malema is a messiah and no one is actually worth the time of Julius Malema. Personally, I think that the EFF supporters are saying all of these things because they know that Julius Malema cannot stand his ground against Musi Maimani on stage. They know that Musi Maimani can crush Julius Malema on stage and they wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to handle the embarrassment that would come after that. So they might as well come out and say that Julius Malema is way above you. You are beneath Julius Malema. You are not even worth the time of Julius Malema. Because they are not even giving us the proper reasons why Julius Malema shouldn't go on stage with Musi Maiman. The ANC guys said that, okay, if, if, if it can be set up, maybe something can be done. And the other leaders of other political parties are saying, okay, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. And guys, you know that we've been saying for the longest time that on the platform that guys, maybe it's time we start having the presidential debate. Maybe it's time these people go on stage and start ripping each other apart on policy. And I think that way South Africans can actually make a well-informed decision on a voting day. This is the only way South Africans can make a, a, a well-informed decision. Because as much as we talk with these politicians, we do not challenge them as much. I have to say that some of us at the podcasters, we do talk with the political leaders, but we do not challenge them as much because after all, some of us, sometimes we just want them to, 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 to rally their points to their, to their supporters. We are not conducting the interviews because we want to be combative with them. We simply want them to rally out their, their pointers to their supporters so that their supporters or the critics can make up their own minds. But I think having these people on one stage so that they can criticize each other's policy, it, it is what South Africa needs right now. It is those standards that we've been talking about, that if we can start with the presidential debates, I don't think we can have many politicians in South Africa. I don't think many politicians can actually afford going on stage to defend their policies because most of the time these politicians have never been held accountable for anything they say. But no, this is not how the EFF supporters see it. This is not how they see it. This is not how they see. This is not how they, they see that we can actually up, upgrade our standard in our political arena. So they are, they are not happy with the Muslim money because the Muslim money called out Julius Malema. And again, I think the supporters of the EFF are not happy with the Muslim money because of this clip that I'm about to play you. <laughs> Guys. You know when we say that politicians are out of touch with reality, this is exactly what we are talking about. When we say that politicians are completely out of touch with reality, these people, they do not even know what average citizens are going through on the ground. This is exactly what we are talking about. Because guys, if you remember, Julius Malema recently went to Cape Talk. And when he got there, man, the interviewer was very smart, man. Julius Malema couldn't answer many of the questions. But this question specifically stuck with the people. Because Julius Malema went on the debate and he was actually asked a very simple question. How much does a loaf of bread cost? Julius Malema failed to answer that question. 
and his supporters they came again and defended Julius Malema by saying no man no 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 even Cyril Ramaphosa does not know how much does a loaf of bread cost even John Stainazen doesn't know how much a loaf of bread cost why are you people expecting Julius Malema to know how much a loaf of bread cost when his peers do not even know how much a loaf of bread cost <laughs> I don't understand how can these people say that John Stainers and, and Sarah Ramaphosa are peers of Julius Malema because Julius Malema's party is on 10%, the Musi Maimane's party is on zero right now, DA is on 20%, so which means DA is bigger than the EFF, meaning that John Stainers is not a peer of Julius Malema, meaning that Sarah Ramaphosa, meaning that Sarah Ramaphosa is not the peer of Julius Malema in their own standards, in their own standards, he's not their peer. And again, I don't think there's any person in the country who would expect Ramaphosa to know how much does a loaf of bread cost. I mean, like, everybody knows that Ramaphosa is a billionaire buffalo seller who is completely out of touch with reality. So for people to expect Ramaphosa to know how much does a loaf of bread cost, I think it's far-fetched. I don't think there's any single person in the country who expects Ramaphosa to know how much does a loaf of bread cost. So the EFF supporters are not happy because Musi Maimane called Julius Malema out. And, Muslim, and Julius Malema was already getting ripped apart. That man, you are a hypocrite. You go around masquerading to be the leader of a political party that advocates for the poor. You go around advocate. You go around masquerading and pretending like you care about what the poor people on the ground are going through. Whereas you don't even know how much does a loaf of bread cost. What kind of a leader are you? What kind of a leader are you? You said that your party is an economic freedom fighter. You said that you are fighting to, to, for the people, especially the poor people, to, 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 to get an economic freedom in their lifetime. But you don't even know a simple thing. How much does a loaf of bread cost? I think that if other politicians in South Africa can say that I don't know how much a loaf of bread cost, I don't think that many people can actually... I don't think that many people can actually be surprised when other politicians do not even know how much a loaf of bread cost but when it comes to Julius Malema when it comes to the branding of the EFF he cannot uh, he cannot afford to not know how much a loaf of bread cost Julius Malema cannot afford to not know how much does a one liter of milk cost he cannot afford that because he has branded himself as the poor as the uh, as, 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 as the advocate of the poor he has branded himself as the advocate of the poor. And I think this is the reason why people were chewing him up because he didn't know how much a loaf of bread cost. His supporters, some of his supporters, they got to understand that this person that we are always defending, this person that we are, we are saying that we're going to vote for in the 2024 election, he doesn't know what we are going through as the people on the ground. <laughs> a loaf of bread, staple of silver. I, well, I, 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 would, I wouldn't know how much is the price of a loaf of bread because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in a position where uh, I don't have to go and buy a loaf of bread. But I mean, you are in a position where you don't have to and go and buy a loaf of bread. Why don't you simply go? That... You are in a position where you don't even know how much does a loaf of bread cost. Why don't you simply go to the supermarket and buy a loaf of bread so that you can understand what every South Africans are going through. Why don't, you, why don't you go to the supermarket so that you can understand what every South Africans are going through? You say your party is a pro-poor pro party. You said your party advocates for the needs of poor people on the ground, but you don't even know how much a loaf of bread costs. It says a lot about you. It says a lot about you, even your supporters coming out and saying that, what about other leaders of other political parties? The other leaders of other political parties, they have never branded themselves the way the EFF has branded itself. <laughs> must be removed from that. And the government must ensure that those stable food are accessible at all. A loaf of bread, a staple of salvation. <laughs> So Musi Maiman went out and said that Malema <laughs> How can you deal with the cost of living crisis when you know the price of Gucci loafers but you don't know the price of loaf of bread you know the price of Gucci loafers but you don't know the price of loaf of bread don't be a loafer take a trip to a supermarket 
and experience what the normal South Africans are going through. This is what Musi Maimane said to him. A loaf of Sasko is 16 rand 99 and 30 eggs are 94 rand and one kg of sugar is 30 rand. Also, the following food are already zero rated. Brown bread, maize meal, semp, mealy meal, dry mealies, dried beans, lentils, pinch charts, and so on and so on. You don't even know the basics of these things, but you say that you are a revolutionary for poor people. You don't even know what the poor people on the ground are going through, but you say that you are a revolutionary <laughs> and the EFF supporters lost it. The EFF supporters lost it. And they are saying Musi Maimane is simply trying to garner the votes by mentioning Julius Malem. Apparently now that Musi Maimane is doing it, it's wrong. These are the people that forget that Julius Malema built his brand by attacking people. They forget that Julius Malema today is Julius Malema not because of his policies. Julius Malema is Julius Malema today because he has been attacking people because Julius Malema was that disrespectful young child growing up attacking the elders. And this is the reason why he got so famous in South Africa. And now that Musi Maiman is attacking him, Musi Maiman is exposing him, they are saying, no, Musi Maiman, you are trying to be famous by mentioning Julius Malema. They forget that the same Julius Malema got famous by mentioning other people. <laughs> so after that, Musi Maiman released this tweet. It's a video, basically, emphasizing on what he said that it is necessary in our political ecosystem to have a direct debate between party leaders. This will also help the this will also help the voters understand the differences in vision, manifesto, even the leadership style. As I invite media houses to arrange for this direct debate between the party leaders, I challenge John Steinhazen to a head-to-head -head debate. I extend that challenge to Julius Malema, Songe Sozibi, Cyril Ramaphosa, Hemen Mashaba, General Bantu Holomisa, Vuyo Zungula, even Jacob Zuma. Let us strengthen the democracy. This country needs good ideas and clear thinkers to fix the numerous challenges. So this is the video that Musi Maimane actually released saying that, guys, I'm challenging all of you. Let's go out for a debate. Let's go out for a debate. Let's start experimenting with this thing that is called the democracy. And the supporters of the EFF still, they are not happy about it. They are not happy about it. So it was so strange for me to see the supporters of the EFF being against Julius Malema being called out on a debate. Why is it, why, why, what, is, what is it exactly do these people fear? What is it exactly do these people fear? Because soon after that, John Steinhazen came out. John Steinhazen came out and said that, I want this thing to load. John Steinhazen said that I can out-debate most people with, doc with doctorates when it comes to politics. So basically, John Steinhazen says that when it comes to politics in South Africa, I can out-debate most people. So this whole topic is catching steam. So we cannot afford Julius Malema to hide behind the skirt. We need Julius Malema to go out and say, yes, I agree. Let's go on stage. Let's debate each other. Because by John Steinhazen, by saying this alone, he's saying that, okay, he's open for a challenge. He's open for a challenge. I saw a tweet earlier from... Gareth Cliff is saying that, guys, how about you allow me to, to, to host this debate? And Musi Maimane said, it is fine, you can host this debate. And I think this is something that South Africa needs. This is something that South Africa needs. We do not need a political party that actually think that it is, it is above people. We do not need the voters in South Africa who automatically think that their political party is, is way above other people's political parties. So it's not even worth their time to debate their ideas. I think if the political parties want to be honest with the people of this country, they need to come out and say, guys, how about we go on stage? It's high time we go on stage. So shout out to John Steinhazen for basically coming out and saying that I can out debate most people with the doctorate when it comes to politics. Because John Steinhazen was basically saying that Musi Maimane, it is fine. Let's do it. Musi Maimane, let's do it. So Musi Maimane responded to John Steinhazen and he basically said that <laughs> man, I love South African politics, man. I love South African politics. boy. I love South African politics. Because Musi Maimani came out. Guys, I'm battling with my son here. 
Musimeman came out and said that I'm looking for you, Johnny Vuli debate. <laughs> I'm looking for you. I just so happen to be a PhD candidate, John Stein Hazen. I'm inviting you to a head-to-head party leader debate hosted by SABC News, Newsroom 405, or ENCA, or by JJ Daban. Voters deserve to hear the leaders engage in debates, especially before such a critical election. Guys, me personally, I agree with Musi Maiman. I agree with Musi Maiman. It's high time these political leaders come out. It's high time these political leaders come out and stop hiding behind women's skirts. Julius Malema needs to stop hiding behind uh, women's skirts there in the EFF. Because I think that the person who can actually hold a debate against Musi Maiman there in the EFF is that spokesperson of the EFF um, and... Floyd Shivambu, I think the deputy president of the EFF, I think he can actually host a debate against Musi Maimane. But when it comes to Julius Malema, I honestly don't want to lie. Mus Julius Malema can never stand his ground against Musi Maimane on a debate. So guys, I'm inviting you guys to tell John Steinhazen to actually, uh, to, to actually accept this challenge. Maybe if John Steinhazen and Musi Maimane can go on a debate, maybe it will influence other political leaders to say, man, maybe I need to go on stage and make my points clear. So shout out to Musi Maimani, shout out to John Steen Hazen for actually embracing this idea of political debate before the elections. Shout out to both gentlemen and for the EFF supporters, they need to understand that no one is above anyone in South Africa. No one is above anyone in South Africa. Julius Malema is not above anyone in South Africa. Julius Malema is a political leader that deserves to be challenged. Everyone in South Africa deserves to be challenged. And I think when it comes to President Ramaphosa, I mean, I think if Ramaphosa can be pushed to a corner, Ramaphosa can actually debate. And Ramaphosa is actually quite good. You know Ramaphosa, man. Ramaphosa is quite good, man. <laughs> Do not underestimate the buffalo, man. The man is quite good. I just think that it was embarrassing for, 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 for the leaders or, or for the supporters of the EFF to actually think that Musi Maiman is not even worth the time of Julius Malema. Is this how these people think? That other political leaders in South Africa, they are not even worth the time of Julius Malema? Julius Malema is way above these people. And the same people, they think that Julius Malema is the peer of John Steinhaz and, 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 and Cyril Ramaphosa. Because when it comes to other political leaders, they always measure these people with the numbers of the EFF and saying that the EFF is a 10% party, Musi Maiman is a 0% party. But if you're going to take the same logic and say that the DA is a 20% party and the EFF is a 10% party, meaning that the EFF is a 0% party and the DA is a 10% party, technically, John Steinhazen is not even the peer of Julius Malem. But we don't want to say that because I'm saying that all of these people that were brave enough to start the political parties, they need to be able to go out and debate their policies with their own peers. We cannot say that Julius Malema is above people because he's 10%, but also want to compare Julius Malema with the, with the ANC. You want to compare Julius Malema with the, with the DA. You don't want to consider the numbers when it comes to the ANC and DA. But when it comes to other political parties, challenging the EFF, you have to consider the numbers. I think that is a very skewed way of thinking. And I think it is very disgusting to see young people in this country discouraging the debates because young people in this country, they need to see these political leaders standing on stage and debating policy with one another. They need to see them debating policy with one another. And shout out again to, 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 to Gareth Cliff for, for, for raising his hand and for saying that, guys, I am willing to host this debate. Can we imagine if we can have moderators? Maybe we can have Gareth Leaf, we can have JJ Tabani. No, boy. We can have Gareth Leaf, we can have JJ Tabani. And maybe we can have a lady, maybe that lady from Five. Maybe we can have Kethi Mutlatana. We can actually do something about the political landscape in South Africa. We cannot continue to think that other political parties or other politicians are more important than other politicians. This is not how we, th we should think. This is not how young people in this country are supposed to think. Young people in this country, they were supposed to encourage debate. Young people must encourage debate. They must encourage debate. This is the only way people can go out and make an informed decision. So guys, I don't know, man. I'm struggling with my, with my son. I wanted to make this video a, a bit longer. Please tell me what you think on the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button. And the most important part, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. My name is Thomas Mabasso. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.